Hello everyone, I'm Trestalk44, and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 3. Last episode, we took a look through the last of the environs of Upper Avernum. All that remains is the town of Geekra here, and the lake in the middle we'll take a look afterwards. There afterwards. For now, let's go into Geekra. This bizarre, bulbous building is clearly a Venata construction. The stone looks not so much cut or shaped as grown. The walls are round, smooth bubbles of rock. Eerie, silent passages lead inside. Well, we'll take a look around the outside first, and look at that! There's a gem... There's a, uh... Yeah, regular crystal. We don't need that. Alright, look around elsewhere. And it looks like mushrooms. Yep, mushrooms. How many do we have? Da, uh, We're fine. We're good on food. Alright, take a look around to the north. Because you always need to look around the outside. You never know when you might find something you need to take. Okay, looks like we can go that way. Let's go to the top. I don't think we'll be able to go any further that way, so let's go around this way. Which did absolutely nothing. Okay, then. How about we enter from the south, and we'll go around from here. Let's see. You reach the entry hall of Geekra. Geekra is not so much a town as a diplomatic settlement where your Venati allies keep in touch with the people of Avernum. And he's strangely silent. There are no guards. There must be a different sort of protection. The entry hall is decorated in the Venati style. There are statues and pools arranged in a way that seems random to you, but which must have great aesthetic value to them. Angular passages lead off mm. into the shadows. Ooh, an outsider! <laughs> you meet a Venati child. She looks up at you with great curiosity. My cousin is Kaihar. She can speak your tongue correctly, but only if she speaks very slowly. She must be very familiar with humans. You speak our tongue well. Do you know a lot about humans? I am in training to be a diplomat. I am trying to learn about humans. You are, however, a confusing species. There is much left for me to learn. Perhaps we can help. All right then, answer this question. A man does great harm to one you love, but escapes the judgment of your revered ones. You then encounter this man, wounded in the wilderness. His spirit relies upon you for succor. Do you save him, or let him pass to the next life? Hmm. Uh, it's very complicated. I'm not sure. It would all depend on the situation and how things are. In the way. How I... It is someone I love, but it all depends more on things, and uh, it, it could vary. It's very complicated, I'm not sure. Ambivalence regarding the judgments of a revered one. Interesting. Quite. Is there any other way I can be of use to you? Do you live here? No, I am currently learning and traveling. Her speech is perfect. It's as if she's being trained as a diplomat. Not alone, I hope. No, I travel with my master, Tekoratel. He teaches me all he knows regarding magic and alchemy. What sort of magic have you learned? She looks embarrassed. At least that's what you think it is. I have learned little magic so far. My training is currently in the preliminary stages. Do you know much alchemy yet? Yes! We Venata learn alchemy before magic. I know several good recipes. The Coratel says, says that I may teach them to others for a fee. I am comfortable with doing so. Are you interested? How old are you? I am very young, I am afraid. A mere seventy years old! You shake your head in astonishment at this. She is only as large as a ten-year-old ch human child. They, they age slowly. Sure, what recipes can you teach me? Hasting, energy, and strength. Oh, we already know. Okay, we're good. Uh, we don't need to know anymore. Okay. How about you? Ah, Takoratel. You meet a tall, dignified Venati. His skin has the dry, dusty sheen that is a sign of an aging Venati. I am Takoratel of Avit. The tell after his name means he is a leader or mayor of some sort. Why are you here in Gikra? I am a leader and a teacher. I come from our city of Avit with my pupil, searching for one of our number. Where is Avit? Tell me of it. My home. 
One of our finest cities in our lands so far, far below. My city was the first to greet the humans. This fact is related to my search. Who is your student? My student, Kaihar, is near. Speak to him if you wish. I wish him to meet humans. This is reminding me. I teach magic to those I find. Wish you to purchase spells from me? Can you teach us magic? I can teach the magic uses of a stone called a soul crystal. If you don't have one though, I can't teach you. Perhaps someone here can help you get such a stone. Okay then. And who are you searching for? One of our mages, Bon Irno, disappeared. He was a hero among us, the first to be befriend your humans and to bring Avernum people into our lands. He said he was going on a journey and has not been seen for months. It is a worrying mystery. Yes, that does sound worrying. Should you ever meet him, return here to me. I wish much to know of where he has gone. Why might Bon Irno have disappeared? We do not know. We know that suddenly, some months ago, he became very agitated, as if he discovered something. Then he was gone. We think that he found out that the Empire was doing something, something dangerous. But we are not sure. Thank you for talking to me. Okay. Looks like, yeah, we can't go through this way. No idea what's in there. That's north. Uh, it looks like there's four corners to this place. Alright, let's take a look in here. Down here. Private rooms, it looks like. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Oh, the Nati cloak. I believe those are actually uh, more protected than regular cloaks. Yep, one to four instead of one to one. Which is nice. Take it. Ah, someone in here. This Venati is tall and spindly, even by Venati standards, over seven feet tall and twig thin. He sits in front of the fire pit, carefully polishing an amazingly sharp wave blade. Welcome! It is a pleasure to meet humans at last. I am Ohar. What do you do here in Gikra? I craft weaponry. Our blades are very different from yours, and yet make under the sa made under the same principles. How are your weapons different? Much effort goes into each of our weapons. Many hours of crafting and perfecting. Unlike many of us, however, I am eager to display our skill to your humans. May I see your work? He presents several recently crafted wavelengths and neatly wrapped stacks of razor discs. If you wish to purchase any of my work, let me know. 3 to 21, that is very nice. But we don't need to purchase any. And what principles are the same? We have melee weapons like you, our wave blades, and we have missiles like you, our razor discs, though not the variety I grant. You do seem to have very few sorts of weapons. You humans have such a bewildering array of deadly weapons. We are in wonder that you can keep them straight. It takes effort, but we do it. How do you keep yours so wavy without ending up them, without ending so... <sighs> done wrong? No Venati settlement is complete without a crystal workshop. Chambers like this one are where the delicate crystals of the underworld are formed into jewelry, magical aids, and tools. The Venati passionately cr value crystals and can work incredibly powerful magic with them. Over the last few years, humans have tried to learn their techniques, but they haven't had much luck. Well, I can see someone's over here. You meet a Venati male wearing the translucent, softly glowing poncho that is the standard dress for their race. He is carving a gentle spiral of crystal with a small, elegant knife. I am called Koriba. What are you doing? I ship crystals. They are having many uses. Like most Venati, his grasp of your tongue is very poor. May I have a look at your work? He holds up the spiral he is working on. It catches a dim light and sparkles beautifully. Is there ever anything so lovely? So orderly? Yes, possibly. What sort of uses? It is the basis of our artisticness and of our magicalness. How does it display artisticness? He looks somber. I wish I could say. I had a good way to showing you. I had best example which is not here for showing. It was a statue, but it was stolen. We can look for your stolen statue. Recently, a courier carrying a crystal statue I had made was slain by bandits and the statue was stolen. 
Yet another theft by humans. If you can recover it and bring it to me, I will reward you with another of my crystals. Magicalness? Yes, much magic we make with crystal items. For exam for a example, I make the magic soul stone you often, and on days of power I even make the spell shards. Soul stones? Like the crystal souls? Not quite. We call my stones soul crystals, not to be confused with crystal souls. They are used for certain spells to trap creatures and be called for later. Very strong. In fact, certain such spells we are not forbidden from making for purchase to outside people, for prices. What spells can you teach us? Me, no spells. But there is a wise traveler here who teaches these spells which place spirits of foes in a crystal. Can we have one of those crystals? No, no. Perhaps later if you can be doing small service to me. A certain lovely statue was stolen from me. Yes, we know. And, uh, what is a spell shard? A marvelous item of magic. A stone that holds a spell and recharge from energy all around us. One time each day, it can release that spell, and the next day a spell is there anew. Very marvelous. Very rare. Very useful, I'd imagine, too. We'll have to keep our eyes open for me. By the way, I think we found your crystal statue some time ago. Ooh, couple level ups. He looks pleased. Log in, humans, correct the wrongs of humans. And then the reward? He produces a beautiful carved pink crystal. It is a soul crystal, using for certain magical spells, and it is yours. He gives it to you. Thank you for returning my statue. I am thinking I, missed you. I mistrust humans less. Gladly. Now, where is Takora Tell? Should be in ar around here somewhere. I don't... Oh, that's actually her him. Alright, capture soul and simulacrum. <laughs> I don't know if we have enough. Well, we don't have enough to get them both to level 2. We'll need a lot more coins for that. Uh, how are we in mage spells? Those are level 9. We can cast them! If we ever find any very useful creatures, such as Basilisk, we got something we can use. Now, what about in here? Let's take a look in here. As you approach the chamber to the west, every hair on your body stands up. It is a magical laboratory, cluttered with apparatus and fully engaged in research. Everything here is charged with energy. In the depression in the center of the room, you see a huge pentagram. Above the center of the platform, the air warps and shimmers ab like above a fire. Hmm. You only managed to open this case a crack before sparks fly from the handles and sear your hands. In the moment it was open, you saw small crystals and intricate, unrecognizable tools. Probably not somewhere we should go. We can get in here, though. Interesting. A bit of amber, dried meat, don't think we need any of those. Energy potion, yes please. Actually, who needs the potion? Give it to Pollux. Fine crystal, that's actually something we can sell. And another Venati cloak. Actually, what the hell, let's, let's take the amber, we can sell it. There we go. Now, how about you? You stand before the most powerful of the Venati, the Archmage Rentar Irno. She was Avernum's greatest ally during the Empire War. She looks at you curiously. She doesn't seem to feel you merit much of her attention. I am Rentar Irno. Greetings to you, Rentar Irno. She nods. Greetings, humans. I have been in communication with Anaximander. I have learned that you are the surface explorers. That is why I have allowed you to see me. We wish for our allies to find the way to the surface. That is why I wish to help you, and why I have moved my work up here. What sorts of work are you engaged in? She sighs, resigned to waste time talking to you. I am Irno to my people, and mistress of Gikra. I do my research and protect our treasures. What does Irno mean? Irno is an honorary title. It means person of great learning. It is appropriate that I should bear it, as I am the most magically talented of my people. Exactly who are your people? The Venati are my people. We live in the caves far below you, and wish only to live safely and undisturbed. Honestly, who could wish for more? Why was Geekra built? When the war against the Empire was won, we decided we should maintain contact with the beings we shared these caves with. 
That is the purpose of Geekra. It is the conduit through which communications between our peoples shall pass. I am here to control it, and to guard it, and we also wish to watch your efforts to reach the surface. Geekra is meant to be the place of communication between Avernum and the Venati. Shouldn't you put a Venati city in the lands of Avernum itself? Like Nass is with the Sliths? Even though technically I don't think those Sliths really communicate with the Slith homeland. I, I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like the perfect place to put it. We have no great love for the Empire ourselves. We feel not all humans are bad. The Empire humans, however, have proved to be false to us. It is good they are on the surface, away from us. We are the explorers who have been sent to the surface. So I am aware. You must be careful on the surface. The Empire is still a strong foe and we will not be able to aid you. The sun is harmful to us. Still, I can help with the information. When you have been to the surface, tell me of strange creatures you find. Perhaps I can give insight. Gladly. Uh, how magically talented are you? Great are my powers. She gets a peculiar expression on her face. It's difficult enough telling how a Venati is feeling under normal circumstance. Sometimes it's simply impossible. The moment passes, however. She simply says, Do not trifle with us. What sorts of treasure do you keep here? Our crystal souls. The spirits of our ancestors in physical form and even more powerful and knowledgeable than myself. I hope to be one myself. Alas, others covet them. We have two of them here and guard them completely. However, we do allow some to visit them. There don't seem to be many guards about. Many of our defenses are not obvious. As the Empire taught us, we have great treasures others may covet. Could we be allowed to visit? She looks uncomfortable. They have said they wish to see humans who visit. I dislike letting humans near them, but their wishes are paramount. She makes a few hand motions. You may not pass the barriers that keep you from them. Why are they up here? Wouldn't they be safer in your lands? They would, but that is not what they wish. They wish to be near you humans so they can learn of you. How can they guide us if they can't first learn? I suppose that makes a bit of sense. May I ask about your research? That I prefer not speaking of. Why do you want us to help why do yeah. why do you want to help us reach the surface, if I may ask? We all have our places. The place of the Vanata is in the underworld. The place of the humans is on the surface. We hope for each to be in their place for the health of all. The health of all. The resources of the caves are so limited. There is little food, little life. We fear a shortage of life and sustenance if too many live below. Thus you belong on the surface will sustain us long. You being on the surface will sustain us all. Beware, holding pen. Proceed only with magical protection. I think we'll stay out of there. Now let's look around. Let's see. Hall of Crystal Souls. So this is where the crystal soul is that they wish on. This chamber is very still and solemn. It is a sacred place for the Venati. To the north is a smooth, deep blue pool, undisturbed by intense flames floating on its surface. Two large stone platforms rise from the pool. A bridge crosses over to them. This room serves as a home for two of the Venati's sacred leaders, the Crystal Souls. They are the spirits of their most revered ancestors, given physical form. Well, okay then. Just for the sake of exploring. Alright, let's start with the one on the left. You approach a large, perfectly flawless blue crystal, about a foot and a half high. As you do, you feel disoriented, as if someone other than you is inside your head. You hear a gentle voice in your mind. I am Glantris Bok. I am a crystal soul. What is a crystal soul? I lived in physical form 1200 years ago. Then, at the point of death, I was shifted into this form to exist for millennia more in service. It is the greatest honor my people can give. I am blessed. What purpose do you serve? I exist for only one purpose. To help my people. It is our greatest honor. How is it an honor? What could be greater? Long after you are dust, I will still be serving my race. I will remember you, and someday, a thousand years from now, I will instruct a young Donati by telling him or her of your struggles. That is what I do. I learn, remember, and advise. You must have an enormous memory. In this form, I remember everything I hear, everything I see. 
It is a great gift. So you are basically an advisor. Often my people come to me for advice on what to do. I always give it. They do not always take it, but usually they do. That is why I told Rentar Ilno to let you see me. There is information I wish to impart to you. I'm all ears. Please, go ahead. The voice in your head gets quiet so that you have to struggle to make it out. When you reach the surface and deal with the Empire as it is today, remember Ouroboros. I'm not familiar with this word. Ouroboros? Ouroboros was a snake of legend that was so mighty it encircled the world and ate its own tail. It was all-powerful and yet devoured itself. As you see the surface, remember that image. And that is all I have to say on the subject. The voice in your head fades away. The presence is gone. We would like to learn more about the Venati. They are fascinating. I am gratified that you would like to learn. The purpose of Geekra is to teach. We wish to learn from our contact with humans. For an offering, I will instruct you in our ways of these interests. Please instruct us. Improve Venati lore. What the hell? We'll get one point in it. Why not? Pollux can learn it. And do you enjoy life as a stone, if I may ask? You sense confusion in your mind. Enjoy? What is this enjoy? I exist to serve. I exist to help. There is no thought of enjoy. It is of no importance. I am of good, not enjoyment. Okay, then. We'll leave you to that. Now, how about you? This is a perfectly flawless blue crystal. As you approach, there is a scratchy, discordant sensation in your mind. The voice in your mind is loud. I am Vivna Spock! You've heard of it. This is one of the crystal souls stolen by the Empire. May we speak with you? I am here! Here! You wince. The rough presence in your mind is getting very uncomfortable. Um, yes. Do you understand me? Unexpectedly, the voice in your head calms. Apologies. I am still recovering from my imprisonment. What did the Empire do to you? They, uh, I... They... <laughs> they not... Must not mention test it on me. Twisting my thoughts on myself. Forget me to break the out of them! The volume of the voice is agonizing. Mercifully, it calms down. No, I lend my paranoia to my people. How? Strange, that must sound, but I am my people's fear. They must share their caves and their scarce resources with your humans and others. And the... the... the bad people on, are on the surface above us all. I am their constant reminder that it's not about whether you're paranoid, but whether you are paranoid enough. I see. I even mind about what want some want to do to us. What they do to me! Me! What can always happen? You back away under the force of this poor mad being's thoughts. We are strong but weak. Everyone must go. Everyone from everyone. Now I am tired. Leave me. Humans are often bad. Then there is silence. Can you tell us about your experiences with the Empire? Your, held is your head is filled with an intense, horrifying screeching. You back away in horrible pain. Then it subsides. But the presence in your head is gone. You know, it's strange. Of the three crystal souls I found, Vivna's box seemed very... stable. Sure, he was experimented on, I believe, but... He seemed relatively stable. He said he actually managed to keep his mind his own, and was perfectly fine. On the verge of melting himself, sure, but he was fine. The one who was more un unstable, however, was one of the other Crystal Souls. I forget his name, but he was one who was kept alone, locked up, as I said, on his own. Very strange. Not I leaving me trapped here. Alright. Um there's some time left in this episode, so I think I'll use it. Let's use what we have left to explore the lake. It'll be the last thing we need to do down here. Let me kill these goblins first. Freaking goblins. Alright. Ice lances. Come on, kill them all. And a fireball to finish the last one. 
There we go. Forgot to pick up the coins. No big deal. Probably shouldn't have bought that Venati lore now that I think about it, since we're going to be spending some coin on a boat, but oh well. We're fine. You! I'd like to buy your boat. He grunts and spits. Then he takes your money. It takes a while, but he counts it all out. Thanks. Boat's around here somewhere. Help yourself. Gladly, and thank you very much. Just need to get around to it, and... Here we are. We now have a boat. Toot toot. Alright, let's take a look around. Row the boat under the bridge. Alright, let's start with... Over here. Maybe something. A couple rivers. Ugh. Doesn't look like there's anything over here of any worth. Ah, there might be something over here. On this shore, you find the smashed and decaying ruins of some small boat. It's made of actual wood. It must have floated down from the surface. Among the wreckage, you find a buckler which is still in amazingly good condition. Really? What kind? A blessed buckler. One to six plus two, so that's three to eight. That's pretty darn good. I think maybe we'll give that to uh, give that to Pollux. Why not? One less than the steel shield, but still, it's pretty darn good. Right, look around elsewhere. Go the boat under the bridge. All right, let's take a look down this way. I don't think we're going to find anything. Nope, nothing there. Okay, nothing down that river. Row under the bridge. Row under the bridge. Alright, let's try north here. Anything in this direction? Eh, might be a few things. Row under the bridge. Nothing there. Mm, over here. We can't go anywhere in that direction. I think I see something up here, though. Interesting. Alright, let's see here. Safe travel. A lot of water from the river to the east has been trapped here for some time, growing increasingly stagnant and foul. Normally you would expect to hear lizard or bat noises in a cave like this. However, the tunnel is completely, eerily silent. There is a massive and mercifully empty nest here, formed of piles of rocks and moldy branches. One of the things holding the nest together among the branches is a two-time Slicerakai spear. What is this doing up here? Well, let's take it. As you turn back from the dead end, you hear a bizarre resonant keening from far to the east. As the sound echoes across the swamp, you look to see what's causing it. A shambler? Sh Shisa. Um... Bless Carl and haste him. Okay, it's dead. Okay, what kind of spear is this? Not identified. Interesting. We'll get that identified when we get back to, uh, to Fort Emergence. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, Fort Emergence. Alright. Little more to explore, I think. Roll under the bridge. Is there anything on this little island here? Nothing at all. Just an island with a tree. Let's see. Okay, we accidentally got into Geekra, and there's an eastern entrance? Doesn't look like there's anything over there we can get to, I mean, aside from that, but I don't think we'll be able to get in there, and I did not mean to do that. But it appears that there is a ruby here. We'll take that, thank you. And we can't take those toadstools. Looks like there's a hidden passage over there, though. Interesting. Alright. All that leaves is this little island in the middle here. You ascend a stone hillock at the west edge of this island. It is a commanding view of the wake lake to the west. There is a hut at the summit, surrounded by rows of cultivated mushrooms. Odd smells come from within. Enter it? Sure. As you approach the door, it opens, revealing a withered old woman with long, snowy white hair. Her eyes light up as she gazes upon you. Well, aren't you the cutest little adventures? Sorry, dearies, but the items I sell are only for mature warriors. She sends you on your way, but not before making you some tea. Okay, random old lady. Thank you very much. Let's leave the boat by Geekra and head back to Fort Emergence to train up a little bit more, because we got a little bit of experience. Get the spear identified. It could probably prove very useful for Teresa. And that'll be the end of this episode. We've 
pretty much finished for the uh, upper Avernum, which is very nice. All right, let's see. This is Radiance to a Spear, six to thirty-six. Holy crap, that's a lot. Give that to Teresa now. Holy crap, that's going to make her a bloody powerhouse. I wish she was a frontline fighter. It is incredibly useful. Uh, she's going to help out a lot whenever we have regular fighting to do. Did I hear a horse? There's no horses in Avernum. Okay. Alright. Trade with you. Sell the spear. Sell the small shield. Sell the fine crystal. Sell the amber. Sell the ruby. And we are good. Okay. I think that's going to be it. Oh no. A little bit of training I want to do. And then we're going to end it. Right around this way. And... Out the way, please. Thank you. Let's see. Who leveled up? Nippur leveled up. Uh, a couple... Another point in melee weapons works. Pollux and Teresa. Uh, actually, pole weapons. Yes, improved pole weapons. And those as well. Because you're a war priest. You are going to help us out. <laughs> Alright. You are going to be of great help in the fighting. Alright. Next episode... Well, Northern Gate, warning beyond here lies surface, authorized personnel only. Next episode, we shall go to the surface. Till then, I am Chester44, that is Carl, Nippur, Pollux, and Teresa. This has been an Avernum 3 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.